All right. When you are asked to calculate a determinant, what that means is that you'll be given a 2 by 2 grid of four numbers. As an example, let's consider 5, negative 2, 3, and 4 and the symbols that look like a big absolute value around those four numbers mean that you're going to follow a procedure which is called taking a determinant and uh, what you're going to need to do is think of these numbers as grouped in diagonals the five and the four are what I'm going to call on the forward diagonal and the three and the negative two are on the backwards diagonal so, to actually perform the calculation, what you do is you take the product of the two numbers on the forward diagonal, that would in this case be 5 times 4, and you subtract from that the product of the two numbers on the reverse diagonal. So the numbers here are pretty easy, 5 times 4, 20, minus the product of 3 and negative 2, negative 6, so the determinant of this grid of four numbers is 26. So let's do another one which is uh, a little bit harder because it might involve decimals, it might involve fractions, and that's really irrelevant to doing the problem so what you do is you take the product of the forward diagonal 2.5 times 10 in this case minus the product of the reverse diagonal negative 4.5 times negative 2 thirds now since the numbers are a little bit harder this time, might as well use the calculator. So start off with parentheses, and then 2.5 times 10, end parentheses, minus new parentheses, negative 4.5 times, and just for the... the ease of your mind, maybe put the negative two thirds in its own parentheses, enter. Now in this case all of that worked out to a nice decimal form, so that was pretty nice, 22.